Hey guys, I'm feeling a little bit better, but not completely 100%, so I apologize. We are making a sparkling tree of life today. Uh, you can do it on any kind of stone you want, but we're going to use a compass or something circular in your house to make a frame to paint within the frame. Um, I'm going to be doing like a dial type frame on the outside and you can see I've done that in a few other tutorials. If you need a little bit of extra help, take a look at those. Uh, the compass that I just used, I will leave a link in the description. It's a geometry set compass, super easy to find, super cheap, and awesome to have laying around. Now I am just going to prime the background of my inner circle with white paint, just so it's nice and bright. You might have noticed that my stone is shiny. It's because I re pre-resined it. It was really bumpy and uh, I needed a smoother surface. So I used some leftover resin to coat my stone. And so it's dry and shiny and it's nice and smooth. Now any sponge works. If you need extra help with blending, a lot of my tutorials have some blending in there. So uh, take a look at a couple of them. I have over 40 tutorials on my channel, Rachel's Rocks Canada, and something in there will help you learn to blend. Best thing to do is get some sponges. Uh, they work amazing and always use blending when your paint is still wet because or else it's not going to budge. So I'm blending on magenta, fire coral, cerulean blue, green, a little bit of white here and there, a little bit of light blue and a little bit of purple. So I'm just blending it all in while it's wet and um, making sure that the colors just kind of flow in together and make sure you use a different sponge for every color or keep rinsing your sponge out if you only have one. You don't want to use the same sponge for all your colors because it's really going to affect the colors uh, and turn them to a mess. So I suggest always using a fresh sponge with every color. And I will leave a link for the sponges in the description as well. Everything you need to know will be in the description. So I have used a darker cerulean blue on the top and on the bottom uh, to the left here. And I'm going to be using that dark blue as well to do a frame around the outside. Once your paint is dry, you can get out uh, glitter, eye makeup glitter. Um, this is nail glitter, so it's like shell powder or um, chrome powder, and it comes in a bunch of different colors. I'll leave the link in the description, of course. And I just kind of like rub it on there with my finger. Uh, you can use a little uh, eye makeup sponge to get it in little spaces that you want it to be. And I'm using a couple of different colors on top of the colors here. So I've used like a bit of purple, a bit of pink, a bit of green, a bit of blue. Now, in order to keep those sparkles in place, I'm using a little bit of Mod Podge and uh, just covering up the crystals so that they don't move when I seal it at the end. You don't want the crystals running all over the place. So it is now dry and shiny. And I am drawing just a line in the center to show where I want my tree trunk to be. I don't want it to be off to the side. So I just kind of used a paintbrush as a ruler. And uh, I grab whatever I can find on my desk in order to do all geometric stuff. <laughs> so uh, I get creative sometimes. And uh, you just want the roots to be shorter and the branches to be longer. So make sure that you have more room at the top for your branches to be long. You don't want it to look like a tree at both ends. You want it to look like roots and then a tree at the top. So make sure you have a, a like a separation there. Now I'm just using my fine lining brush. If you want to know how I make this brush um, the way I want it, there is a tutorial and that will be located in the description as well. If you don't know how to find the description, please just check out my channel. I have a ton of very helpful techniques and tutorials there waiting for you. Um, but I am basically just going freehand here with the roots and the, and the tree. And um, it might not look right to you, but I'm just going to see what happens here. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And you know what? I bet you it's going to be beautiful when it's done because... 
that's just how I feel. Now um, I'm filling it in just using black matte acrylic paint. I will be adding sparkles to this um, tree. If you want to leave it black, like uh, just simple silhouette, you don't have to put the sparkles on top of the tree. Um, the best thing about painting with me is that you get to do what you want and I'm just kind of guiding you along, giving you some inspiration. Um, you just do what you want, that's for sure. You can take a look at pictures of the Tree of Life on Pinterest if you're having a hard time sketching it out. You don't have to be a daredevil like me and just go right on there with the black paint. You can use a pencil and sketch your tree on first because you don't really want to mess up the background once you've done all that work, right? So go in when you're comfortable and do the tree. Um, I've had some experience with this, so uh, I'm just going to put it on here without sketching it out first and, and pray for the best. Uh, you can also add little leaves to it. You don't have to just have like a wintry looking tree with no leaves. Um, but I was just trying to go a little simple with, with this one today. So I, I'm not actually doing any leaves at all, but I am going to add some Swarovski crystals. Um, I guess they're kind of kind of look like little stars sparkling in the sky once we're done. And just keep working with the roots until you think they look right. Make sure there's no big spaces in up where the branches are. You want to make sure it's nice and filled in. And you can do your branches as thick as you want, as thin as you want. Um, you can make it look like a a, an apple tree or, or what have you. It's completely up to you what you do with it. Um, and of course, I'm going to outline it with gold. <laughs> if you guys know me, you know this is going to happen. I'm kind of predictable by now. So I'm just outlining all of it with gold. This is optional, of course. You can outline it with silver. You can just not outline it. You can outline it with white and it kind of pops off that color as well. Um, but I'm going to outline it with gold and then I'm gonna add some hologram 2796. Hologram, yeah, it's okay. I am probably still suffering from all the medication I've had to take this weekend from this horrible cold. Oh, it's been rough the past couple weeks. Um, now that I have done all the gold outlining, I'm just kind of fixing anything that might be too thick, gold lines that might have covered my whole branch. Uh, I'm just going in with a little bit of black again and making sure that all of my branches are noticeable and, and awesome looking, basically. <laughs> now you can leave it like this. And you can skip forward and do the frame with me, or you don't even have to do a frame. Uh, you can paint the whole rock with the background like this, and then just do the tree of life right over the top, like right over everything. Um, right now, I am adding sparkles. So hologram is being added right now. It doesn't look too attractive right now, but I promise you once it's dry, it looks amazing. Um, and hologram paint looks good on all sorts of different colors. Uh, on black paint, it looks like a nice green or turquoise sparkle, but it looks totally different when you put it on white paint. It looks different when you put it on green or blue it, and purple even. It looks amazing on purple. Um, so yeah, try it out. Play with it a little bit. It's, it's a really good paint to have in your collection. So I'm going around the outer frame with the darkest color that I have in my background, which is the cerulean blue. Um, you choose whatever color you want for your frame or don't have a frame. It's completely up to you, like I said. Um, I also outlined the inner circle. I outlined that with gold. And I'm going to be outlining the outer circle with gold as well once we play with the frame a little bit. I have a lot of people ask me about this technique. How do you get that shiny technique in there? This is how you do it. So I've used dark blue for my frame. I've put in a little bit of light blue here and I'm smudging it in with a with a sponge to kind of blend it in with the dark blue. 
because we're going to make it look kind of like a shining satin ribbon almost and it, it looks really cool when we're done so some people think it's just metallic paint that I'm using but I'm actually doing this blending technique to make it look like a satin or shiny rim around my my painting so you've probably seen this uh, take a look at all my tutorials there's a lot of techniques in there hidden in every tutorial that you might want to try out so even just doing a ribbon this is how you do it this is how I do it now uh, now that I'm happy with my my shining ribbon technique there I'm outlining the whole thing in gold I'm also going to outline that with black as well so that it makes the tree of life pop right off the rock sorry if you can't see this very well but yes I have outlined it all in gold and now I'm going around with the black now the dial technique take a look at my semicolon tutorial if you want a little bit more time on the dial basically it's I, I start at the top and the bottom the left and the right with a line on the frame and then I go in between all of those right in the center and then in between all of those in the center and I just keep spinning the rock around and filling in evenly evenly um, evenly put apart and in the end it looks really cool it looks like a dial and then behind that dial you have the shining uh, ribbon almost so it gives it a cool technique if you don't like it that's okay you do what you want um, you don't have to have a frame at all. I just think artwork needs to be framed in sometimes. Um, I want to thank you all for your love and support. You're going to see it resined here in a second. My resin tutorial, my paintbrush tutorial, everything you need to know will be in the description. If you can't find the description, it will be in all of my tutorials. I love you all and thank you for waiting until I got healthy so that I could post this. Um, I appreciate all of your support. Keep painting, everybody. I'm going to be adding crystals. You'll see that at the very end.